everybody. Lance Lowry, the CEO of S2A Modular, and I am back with another S2A Modular Minute. Um, today, I'm going to talk about foundations. Um, so we have a lot of questions from customers. Um, they wanted to ask us about foundations. I was going to do a Q&A, and this was going to be part of it, but um, I think there's enough questions on the foundations that I can do just one whole modular minute on the foundation. So um, what, what I'm going to talk about first is um, slabs. A lot of people ask us about slabs and if you can do modular and slabs. We don't. I've heard of it done. It's extremely difficult, and here's why. So when the mods come to site, they get set, and they're completely finished. The flooring is done. Everything is completely done. So you can't get underneath it. If you put it on a slab, you can't connect. You can't connect uh, plumbing. You can't do real, really anything underneath it. So um, for S2A Modular, our standard is a um, conditioned crawl space. So we do a condition, uh, a condition crawl space to be able to get underneath, hook everything up. Um, we just do a crawl space access in the house. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, so, and then we get asked about basements a lot. Basements are really, we do it all the time. Um, so I, I used to work in Wisconsin and pretty much 95% of all houses are put on um, basements. So, I mean, that's that's pretty simple and it's the easiest way to do it because um, obviously you can uh, have all the room in the world to hook up, uh, connect your silk plates and, and all that. So that's, that's a no-brainer. So um, another thing that people ask about is when they see some of the designs, especially for the commercial, they see a zero entry on some of these um, and they ask. And that's why they ask if we can put it on slab. Actually, um, e even a slab is not going to be uh, a zero entry because the thing about it, it comes with the floor um, and the flooring and the silk plates and everything. So regardless, it would be sticking up on the ground uh, 13 inches. So. Um, what we do there is uh, a while back we we uh, we invented a kind of like a reverse brick ledge. I don't know if you if you've built house or or uh, foundation before and you build kind of a ledge around the outside where you're going to put brick. So we kind of do that in a reverse. We build like a concrete sleeve uh, that's about uh, 13 inches deep with a ledge down in. So. We can um, actually bring the house, set it down into the sleeve, and have the the floor be even with grade. So um, that's really what I normally do with a lot of my commercial projects. So I don't have to build all the ramps, you know, the, the one foot or every inch. Um, so the ramps get pretty big. Um, so uh, that's it in a nutshell. Um, foundations, uh, commercial. Uh, condition crawl spaces for us. And uh, if you want anything else, then, you know, it's an option that we can. All right. So um, good talking to you. I'll see you in the next uh, modular minute. Thanks. Hi, Kat here, Director of Investor Relations at S2A Modular. Thank you so much for watching the Modular Minute. I wanted to invite you to our upcoming live webinar exclusively for investors. We get into the details of how we are building modular renewable energy smart homes and how you can be involved as an investor. Just click the link in the description below to register for the event.